Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel, my video, my life. Um, today is going to be a fun day. I've got a bunch of different things planned. My lights are not actually twinkling like that <laughs> in real life. They're LED lights, so the camera does weird things to them. But I kind of wish that that's what they did in real life. I wish they actually moved like that because that's so uh, just kind of mystical and, and fun. Now, now, I'm, now I'm so distracted now. <laughs> I wish that was what they were doing in real life. That's not, but it's fabulous. So, it is 12.27. You're coming into the day on my lunchtime. I'm eating out of the pan again because I just washed all of my dishes, all of them are clean, and I'd rather not have them all be dirty again today. So, eating out of my pan. Don't care if you think that's weird. It's effective, and it uses less dishes, so. I also have Max pork rinds. They are so good. Um, I get them at Walmart for like two bucks a bag, and they're just far superior than the great value kind. And you know that I eat great value food. The ingredients are pretty much the same. Fried, fried pork skin, salt. I don't know what Mac is over there doing that makes them taste so much better. But they really are just really fabulous. This, I know it looks like a mess. Uh, it's just scrambled eggs with a little bit of ham. And instead of Swiss today, I switched it out and sprinkled a little Parmesan on there just to see what that would do. I'm on the, I'm close to being out of Swiss. So instead of just completely running out and wasting my beautiful Swiss cheese on kind of a boring lunch, I just use the Parmesan that kind of sits in the fridge that we never use. So, of course you have been in my living room before. You know, this is basically my The Simple and Beautiful Life hub. All of my soap is right here. So it looks like just a table that we throw our entire day's worth of crap onto, but that's not, that's not what it is. <laughs> and then this is my everything that I need to run a business essentially on that shelf. So I know it looks messy. We're building our house right now. And once we do, I'll actually have, you know, a bedroom dedicated to this. Uh, but for now, it's the living room is dedicated to the running of the business. And there's really nothing I can do about that. So, I know it looks like a, what my, my mom used to call it, a catch-all. It's not. <laughs> Today, I am wearing my new Flagner Fail t-shirt. I actually might be one of their older ones. I don't remember. It's new to me, but I think it's new. I think this material for them is new. It's so soft and it kind of like just hugs your uh, muscles just right. So they kind of like kind of displays them, which when you've spent, you know, years and years into having a bicep and you finally get a shirt that makes it look mm, just right. It's really nice. So I'm not sponsored or anything like that. This is just a nice shirt that I just bought. Um, and it's a good brand, good people. I like to watch them on, on the social media. So that's why I'm mentioning it, not because I'm sponsored. I don't know if they actually sponsor anybody. Because they're kind of a small business too. Kind of. They've gotten pretty big. Either way, it's a cool shirt and they're cool people, so. So, on a different note, while we're meeting my lunch, 
talking with y'all. Um, I have a different type of workout plan today. And I'm excited about where it could go. I'm excited about the potential. It breaks my heart to not be lifting today. But the reason that I chose to not lift today, maybe not lift tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure. Um, as I've said in the past, on the past videos, my seizure count has been going up. It has. I'm working on getting it down, working on troubleshooting areas and figuring out what's happening. But in the meantime, because of that, my body is sore. There's just parts that hurt from seizures. I had a seizure on a treadmill, which is not fun because when that happens, I'm not exactly smart enough to put the little emergency stopper on your shirt or whatever. Uh, so when it happens to me, because I'm a moron, the belt keeps going. And it, you know, what body parts get sucked under there or where you get thrown, you don't know. So from my last treadmill seizure, I'm sore. Uh, I did something to my ankle. I have no idea. There's a wall right behind the treadmill where I run. So I could have easily just gotten mashed up into the wall against the wall on the treadmill. I, don't, I have no idea. So my ankle is not 100%. It's, it's like 90%. Uh, I just can't bend it in certain ways. Also, my pinky finger. It's not usually like that. That's not... Like, okay, I, I understand that there it's kind of a weird shape around the joint anyways, but it's not usually like that. Uh, it's been like that for about four weeks now. I'm almost positive that it's broken. Like I said before, I'm not smart enough to actually do anything about this. Um, but it, it's healing up, and I can tell that it is healing up. With that said, it's really hard to hold a dumbbell like a lady. Um, there's no form in it. It's, it's awkward. I mean, you can't grip anything. It's not good and it hasn't been producing the results over the last four weeks that I like to see. Um, growth in the gym is always pretty, pretty slow, but I like for it to be slow, but steady. And it hasn't been because I can't grip. I mean, there's no way I'm putting a 50 pound dumbbell in my hand and holding it with four fingers. It's, that's just stupid. Especially since when I do that, it would be for bench. And that means that 50 pounds of a dumbbell is over my face. And if it lands on my face, I'm almost positive that I would die. So while I may not be the smartest person in the world, I am smart enough to not to do that. With that said, what do you do next? I think for now, I am going to go do some computer work. I need to make some bath bombs. I need to make some soap. He has probably got to go potty. Yeah. I don't know how people live without dogs. You gotta go potty. Now I've got them all. So yeah, they need to go potty. I need to make some bath bombs, do some computer work, and we will meet back when it's time to do Pilates.
<laughs> that was hard. Um, I did feel myself being more uh, like stompy than I, I remembered being in college. And I think because I think that's related to the fact that um, I took dance in high school. So when I went to college, I was moving on from dance into Pilates. Whereas now I'm moving on from bodybuilding, weightlifting mentality to Pilates. So bodybuilding, it's a lot more of a, um, it's more stumpy. I mean, you're, you're lifting around, you know, 50, 45, you know, heavy weights, stacking them up, lifting them high. You know, when you're deadlifting, you're lifting them up and just dropping them half the time. So, uh, weightlifting, definitely more stompy than dance. So I think that has, that affected it. I, I just, I just felt stompy. So I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to give this some time and I will be still lifting weights in between Pilates classes. I have no intention whatsoever of just dropping weightlifting and moving on. So, and you never know, maybe I'll try this and absolutely love this and this will just be a new thing in my rotation. So, I'm excited for this. I'm certainly tired. <laughs> um, I am going to go walk my dogs. You can't see them, but they're sound asleep on the bed. Um, go walk them. That'll probably be about a mile or so. And then it will be dinner time. Yay! I will catch you guys in just a couple seconds. Okay. Today may have been the best dog walk of my entire life. Um, so I live in an apartment complex right now. Just walking the dogs and I was I was getting past the part where there's a, a big dumpster where everyone throws away their trash. Occasionally someone will move and throw out like a, a really disgusting armchair. They'll leave it next to the, the trash can. Maybe someone will take it. Probably not. You know, that's how it works when there's a huge dumpster. Well, today the whole leave something you don't really need next to the dumpster worked out really well for me. Um, someone left just like a huge box full of brand new unopened Christmas paper two weeks from Christmas. I got this one. Hold on. I got this one, which is just like the best. It's got trucks on it. And I mean, there's really nothing better than old Chevy and a Christmas tree and I got this little duo which is like a uh, snowman and it says Merry Christmas so and that wasn't even all of them there were easily I'd say 30 things of them 30 tubes of wrapping paper so I will be walking my dogs again around, you know, zero dark hundred when my husband gets off work. They're all out there. I'm getting me another one. I was so excited when I saw that sitting next to the dumpster. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then when I actually looked at it and it was Christmas paper. Like what's better than finding that, you know? If you, if you needed a reason to, to go walk your dogs, go walk them. You might find wrapping paper. On a dinner note, it is another pizza quesadilla night. Um, I just love those darn things. And it was a good way to get in another egg. Whenever it's period time, one, I just crave certain things and that's what I want to eat. And a lot of the times it's eggs and I just, I can't get enough eggs. So I try to eat a lot of eggs throughout the day whenever it's uh, that time of the month. And so this was a good way to get in another egg because I 
you know, you've seen me make them. I, I crack the egg in the pan, put the tortilla down, and then basically make a uh, pizza out of it. So it's cooking up. I will dip that in my homemade ranch, which I still haven't put the recipe out there for you. Basically, it's just sour cream and some ranch powder. Some of them you have to look out for, they'll add a lot of sugar into them. So find yourself some good ranch powder. You can put in a little bit of buttermilk if you want to. I usually water it down because sour cream is like super thick for ranch. So a little sour cream, a little ranch, a little sour cream, a little ranch powder, a little water, maybe a little buttermilk if you wanted it. And there you go. And you don't have to worry about all those crappy things that they put in ranch that is so unnecessary. And you can still have amazing ranch without, you know, vegetable oil being the main ingredient, which is just ridiculous. So I'm just letting that cook away. And I totally realize that my kitchen is a mess. Um, come, I'm just coming out of the weekend and usually during the weekend, you either cook more, you make more of a mess. It's just, it's just a mess. So that is why it looks just nasty. <laughs> I have not had a time to chance to clean it yet, but it'll happen. I swear. Um, but I am going to end this here. My upstairs neighbor, it sounds like he's doing cartwheels and He's like a 250 pound construction worker who's probably not any good at cartwheels. It doesn't sound like he's very good at cartwheels. Um, and you can hear him like, pow, 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 pow. so I'm going to end this here because it just keeps getting louder and it's getting very hard to record any sort of uh, straight segment. <laughs> so. I'm going to let him continue practicing his cartwheels. I'm going to finish my pizza quesadilla. When my husband gets home, we will do yoga. We'll walk the dogs. I might get more wrapping paper. And that'll be it for the night. <laughs> I hope he's having fun. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. And I will catch you guys later. Bye!